It's finally the first vlog of the year for all the people that are following the Flavors by E-Zone channel. But also, too, I will, I'm actually here to film some high and hungry little snippets. I wouldn't say they wouldn't call them they're actually full episodes, but individual kind of like micro episodes. Like when I don't actually have to review an actual restaurant. So we might get access to some of the Valentine's Day snacks or menu, or we might get the last of the Chinese New Year menu. I don't know. Either way, of course, I, I can't be really doing it up here kind of sober. So, you know, you already know the routine. I got, I'm gonna RSO it today. You guys already know the routine. I got it, of course I got my propane on me, but of course it is it is Disneyland. They care about you here more than they actually do at the airport. But um, yeah, it is gonna be one of those days. So we're gonna see if maybe we get a little sneak peek into some of the other food that's gonna be switched up for all the people that actually do come here that actually watch High and Hungry. So we'll go ahead and see what they got, what kind of snacks they're gonna go ahead and switch up for you guys while we're actually out here feeling High and Hungry. pit stop at the actual Disney store. I'm here with my girlfriend, so she's in there shopping, looking for some stuff. I guess today's the day where they actually switch some of the, I guess, late Chinese New Year stuff to like the Valentine stuff, so I really hope I get to get like a first dip trying into some of these things. Of course, we're gonna start off with California Adventure first, because that's where the alcohol's at, but you know me, I have a way of getting my type of whiskey in here. <laughs> um, also too, yeah, it seems to be RS all the time, baby. You know, I gotta take my fucking vitamins, bro. But uh, I'll probably do it in a little bit, though. I mean, I don't wanna just do it out here on open and shit. <laughs> Everything's in theme here, bro. Look at the security guard, he's like, yo. <laughs> security guard telling everybody to stop. <laughs> I feel like the security guard's in theme, too, bro. Not for nothing, man. Today, we did not expect the sun to come out so fucking strong. I did not expect it to be so effing packed. But very much like the food and wine festival episode or the little fucking clip series that I made, today we're doing something new and different before it's gone. We're actually exploring the Lunar New Year here at Disney California Adventure, and I'm here to show you some of the items that I would like for you guys to try. The shot behind me uh, of the Ferris wheel, it's called the Lucky Eight Lantern. There's two items that kind of got my mind. I took a few dabs in the morning. I decided to stop by Lucky Number 8 Lantern and I decided to try out the Quesabiria egg roll, which is a combination of birria. It's like an egg roll and some, it's like somebody made an egg roll and a birria taco fuck, and this is what came out of it. First of all, I ain't gonna lie, man. This is what it, this is like the Costco version of consomme. When Costco starts giving you consomme like this, this is how you know consomme went mainstream. But you could, this is too little, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, this is too little for the California Adventure World. I've been seeing this kind of go around a lot. Look at look at the way it shakes, though. It's almost like jello. You can fucking just like smack it. Like just literally smack it. Some of it just fucking stays in the back of it. But literally, this is probably one of the sweetest items that I have seen in. This is the mandarin orange mousse cake. And it also kind of looks like jello though. Literally looks like jello. I feel like it's gonna cut down just like cheesecake. It tastes like that, uh Tastes like that cake you find at Seafood City. Could have been a little bit more toasted. You gotta dip it, of course. Of course, you gotta get a nice little dip. Make a little mess. Once it's all nice and dip. That's actually very on point, bro. Very tasty, bro. Consomme is legit. I'm not gonna say it's authentic, but you could tell they got real Mexicans working in the back. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know who's made, who, who, who sold out the recipe, but not for nothing, on a high and hungry recommendation, I would recommend the Quesabiria Taco for you guys to stop by here at the Lucky Lantern in front of the whack ass Little Mermaid ride. Um, this is fire though, I'm not gonna lie. Look at the inside of it though. This is legit though. I would definitely tell you guys to try this. So next up on the Lucky Eight Lantern spot is the Mandarin Moose Cake. So we're gonna go ahead and slice it down right down the middle. Look at that. Look at the way that opened up though. That is kind of crazy, and you see the layer on top right here, though. It's kind of like a like a puree. So you see the puree on top right here. A little bit more of a jello texture. Okay, this is where it's at, though. This is the crazy part about it. This is very well crafted. Like Disney, like I'm not gonna lie, not for nothing. They they got this on point this time. Look at how you're able to get. 
an equally distributed amount of everything in that bike. So you've got the crust on the bottom, you got the puree on top, you also got, uh, what is it, I guess the actual insulation of the cake, which is the, the jello, the, the mousse part. And I got this, uh, I don't know, I think it's like a melon cocktail. They got like rum in it. They usually change it, but essentially it's the same ish. You know what I mean? They kind of just put the same thing in these cocktails. It's the same thing. They just change the name per season. They always have like a whiskey one, a hibiscus one, a vodka one. It's essentially for all the type of drinkers. All those stupid bitches get the fucking vodka one and be like, oh my God, with your fucking stupid Stanley fucking uh, Starbucks cup that you come in here and you fight over people with. Yeah, those are the, that's who they make the vodka drinks for. They fucking make these right here for the food, the, the ones that, I'm sorry, they make with, I'm sorry, they make drinks with whiskey for dudes with beards, like myself. Although we're not really too fond of the cocktails, but this is a family oriented place, so they can't just serve you. Let me get a double shot of whiskey right off the top. Cheers, everybody watching on High Hungry. This is a very early hot. I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of glad. This is perfect weather to be flying out to Japan too. I hope it doesn't rain anymore, but I also hope it doesn't get this hot where I'm wearing sweat out, sweats outside. But cheers, everybody. That's on point. That's on point too. Salute to my good people at Slick Shots. You know what I'm saying? My good people at fucking Slick Shots always making it possible. You know what I'm saying? Pour that motherfucker in there. You get some of that red breasted. That red breasted one. You gotta wrap it up with some bitch ass napkins. Cause this is not real. Look through the trash can and be like, nope, nope, we saw it, we saw it. Believe me, that's happened to me before. They let me walk in here with a whole eight ball once, but they fucking worried about the vape pen I threw in the trash. That's how you make it a legit E zone type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Usually this area is like where you find all the Mexican shit at because you usually find the Encanto people or uh, you know what I mean or you find like the Mexican version of the Donald Duck or the tacos around here but it's all like Chinese New Year out this time. So as we stop here real quick, I wanted to try something that was different. Like I wanted to try something that I'm like, all right, man. I'm like, let me go ahead and uh, see what the fuck I can find over here. I thought I was gonna find like some like Chinese taco hybrid, but I ended up finding this brown sugar baked nian gao. I want to say that's the right way to say it, nian gao, nian gao, nian gao. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. To be honest, it's kind of remind. All right, so this is what it is. I didn't know. I never had this thing in my life. It's kind of. It looks like a. Uh, what is it? A BJ's Pazook. 